the Sand Castle Squasher. to grant you a wish. Uh, I hear a voice. It wants to grant us a wish. <gasps> I hear it too. What should we wish for? I know. I wish I could turn everything I touch into donuts. Donuts? That's silly. We should wish for something smart, like turning the sea into a giant milkshake. No, donuts. No, a milkshake. Donuts. Milkshake. Ah. You know what I wish for? I wish you would both stop arguing. It was lonely. <laughs> well, Sally, it looks like I made your wish come true. They stopped arguing. <laughs> That's right. Good one, Loli. Hmm. Very funny. <laughs> come on, guys. It's getting late. We'd better head home. I hate to leave after such a fun day. Yeah, we should come back tomorrow. Here. It's your turn to carry the pail home. No, it isn't. It's your turn. Nuh-uh. It's your turn. No, it's your turn. Yours. 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 Hi, Frank. Oh, hello, Huckle. Hi, Sally. Lowly. Hi. Um, isn't it a little late for a game of beach ball? Oh, <laughs> no, this isn't a beach ball net. It's my fishing net. I'm getting it set up to catch fish during the night. Doesn't the net need to be in the water so the fish will swim into it? Oh, it will be. Eventually. Okay, Frank. See you later. Maybe we should have reminded Frank that fish swim in the water and not on the beach. Hmm. He is a fisherman, so we must know what he's doing. Come on, let's go home. We'll come back bright and early tomorrow morning. <laughs> Let's run to the sandcastle as rotten seaweed! Hey, where's our sandcastle? There's nothing left of it, except for these stones and shells. And these footprints. Someone squashed our sandcastle and ruined it. Who would do such a thing? The same scoundrel who took off with our pail and shovel. That's who! I told you you should have carried them home. I wonder who would want to wreck our awesome sandcastle. It certainly is a mystery. Hooray! This is your action bug news! Yay! Yay! Dog bug here reporting live for Busy Town Action News. Huckle, what's the latest buzz from the beach? It appears someone squashed our sandcastle and ruined it. But who? It's a mystery, and we're going to solve it. <laughs> Ready for it? Here goes! as Huckle and his team dig in to the mystery of the Sandcastle Squasher. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. So, where do we look for clues? We can start with these footprints. If we follow them, maybe they'll lead us to the Squasher. Stop snoring, Pig Won't. I'm not snoring. I'm not even asleep. It's Mr. Katz. Hey, maybe the footprints in the sand belong to him. Come on. I don't know. His feet. 
feet look bigger than the footprints in the sand. See? The footprints in the sand are much smaller. They obviously belong to someone who's small. Right. But who? Hmm. If my hunch is right, the footprints that were left in the sand will lead right to him. That's our sandcastle squasher? There's only one way to find out. I have a plan. We'll quietly tiptoe down the beach when his back is turned and... Yeah, yeah. let's get him! Oh, oh no! Big Will, Big won't wait! Give us back our stuff! You're in big trouble! <sighs> so much for sneaking up on him. Come on! Go. I don't know, but all this running around is making me hungry. Look, there he is. Whoa! <laughs> Stop! Wait! <laughs> yeah. Huh? Gotcha! Hey, what do you want? I didn't do anything. We want to know why you squashed our awesome sandcastle. Sandcastle? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! And I suppose you didn't take our pail and shovel either! Of course not. I wouldn't take something that didn't belong to me. Then why were you running away? Wouldn't you run away if a bunch of strangers were shouting at you? Uh, maybe. But what's in your bag? My shell! Your shell? I found it on the beach. What else is in your bag? Hey, what's this stuff? Where's our pail and shovel? I told you, I never saw your pail and shovel or your sandcastle, and that's the truth. But you have our conch shell, and there was only one set of footprints at the sandcastle ruins, so they must be yours. See? Wow, that really is an awesome sandcastle. But wait a minute, you said there was only one set of footprints in the sand. And this photo shows lots of footprints in the sand. Those were our footprints. Now let's see the footprints that were there this morning when we found the squashed sand castle. Hey, there's only one set of footprints in the sand, and they're mine. He's right. I never noticed our own footprints were gone. Did you take those too? No, Pig won't. I think we made a big mistake in blaming him. I think you're right, Loli. It looks like his footprints were left in the sand after our sandcastle was already flattened. I guess we better go back to look for more clues. We're really sorry for blaming you. Here's your shell back. Sorry for the misunderstanding. That's okay. I hope you find who you're looking for. Wow, Frank actually caught fish. How did that happen? The fish must have flipped and flopped across the sandy beach right into your net. <laughs> no, there was water here last night, but now it's gone again. You see, the water comes and goes with the tide. The tide? Yes, the seawater levels go up and down all through the day. Right now, it's low tide. That means the water level is low, so there's no water on the beach. But at night, it's high tide. That means the water level is high, and the water comes right up onto the beach where we're standing now. Hmm. So you're saying that at night, the beach is covered in water? Yep. Sally, may I see your camera for a moment, please? Sure. Ah! Oh, something tells me you're about to solve a mystery. Something tells me you're right. Follow me, everyone. Bye, kids. Have a good day. <laughs> Dogfight here with an exciting news update. Huckle, have you figured out who the Sandcastle Squasher is? I believe I have, Goldbug. This is what I think happened. When we were building our sandcastle, it was low tide, so the water wasn't anywhere near it. But during the night, the water got higher and higher because it was high tide. Most of the beach was covered in water including our sandcastle and our footprints. So it wasn't a who that wrecked our sandcastle, 
but a what? High tide! But that doesn't explain why our pail and shovel are missing. Actually, it does. Your plastic pail and shovel probably floated away when the water got higher. And there they are! It looks like your idea holds water, Huckle. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Hooray for Huckle! And hooray for the best sandcastle builders in Busytown. Come on, let's build another one. Yeah, I'll rescue our pail and shovel. No, I'll rescue them. No, I will. No, I will. <laughs> We, we both will! will. <laughs> I'll get the pail! Okay, shovel! I want the shovel! Shovel! Pail. By the time they're done arguing, I'll have already rescued the pail and shovel and finished building the new sandcastle, too! <laughs> <laughs> the Strange Ski Tracks Mystery. Huckle? Loli was here a second ago. <laughs> huh? Here I am, Huckle. I was just hanging around with the icicles waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we going to do today, guys? We're going skiing. Yay! And we better hurry before the hills get too crowded. Come on. But I've never tried skiing before. That's one big hill. Nothing to worry about, Loli. We'll start you out nice and slow. I'm sure you'll do fine. Hi, buddy. Hey, Betty. How's the snowboarding? Great, Huckle. We're putting on a snowboarding demonstration later. It's going to be real cool. Make sure you check it out. We'll be styling, dudes. I should be putting on the demonstration because I'm such a good skier. I'm a better skier than you. I'm better than you. No, me. 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 Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Skiing looks hard. You won't know until you try, Loli. <laughs> it's no use, Huckle. I can't keep my balance. Not even for a second. I have to admit, it is easier to balance using poles. Uh, well, no can do, Huckle. I've got no hands to hold them. Don't worry, Loli. I've got an idea. This is great, Huckle! Yay! <laughs> Hang on! Loli! I can't see! Huckle! Right? <sighs> yep. Sorry, Huckle. I promise to be more careful. I'm sorry too, Loli. I'll go slower from now on. Look! Those tracks pass on either side of that tree. A skier would have to be really, really tall to ski over a tree. Even a little one like that. Well, I don't think it's possible for anyone to do that. What do you think, Huckle? I think this is... A mystery! Busy Town Action Bug News! Gold Bug here on the Busy Town Ski Slope, where Huckle is up to his ski poles in another Busy Town mystery! What can you tell us about it, Huckle? Well, Gold Bug, we found these strange tracks in the snow, and we're going to. Huh? What did you say? I said. Why are you whispering? <laughs> Sorry, Huckle. You were saying? I was saying, we're going to solve the strange ski tracks mystery by finding out who made them and how. Get ready for it.
as Huckle snow plows through the strange ski tracks mystery. Dog bug out. Whoa! We'll help you solve the mystery as soon as we figure out how to stop. Okay. I think the first thing we should do is follow the tracks and see if we can find some clues. Look! The tracks go on either side of that rock. First the tree, now this rock? How is that possible? You're right, Loli. How can anyone ski over a rock that wide? There has to be an explanation. Let's see what else we can find. Whoa, look at this. The tracks go right into that log. And out the other end. I don't believe it. How can anyone be big enough to ski over a tree and a big rock and be small enough to ski through that log? This is one of the most mystifying mysteries yet. Hey, what's that? It's someone's mitt. I bet it belongs to the mystery skier. They must have lost it when they went through the log. So let me get this straight. We're looking for a skier who's big enough to go over a tree and a wide rock, but also small enough to ski through a hollow log? And who's only wearing one mitt. Wait a minute. Look, there's Jeremy Giraffe. Not only does he have the longest neck in Busy Town, he's got the longest legs. I think if he really stretched, he might be able to ski over the tree and the big rock. Hmm. You're right, Sally. But there's no way Jeremy could fit through that hollow log. And he's wearing two mitts, which means he's not our mystery skier. Woohoo! All right. Wow. Nice air, Abel Baker Charlie. Hey, Abel Baker Charlie's small enough to ski through the log. True. But he's also way too small to ski over the tree or the rock. And he hasn't lost one of his mitts, either. Wow! Stop crowding me! I'm looking for a place to land! You stop crowding me! <laughs> well, our mystery skier couldn't be Pig Will or Pig Won't. <laughs> right again, Sally. They would have crashed into the tree, the rock, and the log. <laughs> and they, they haven't, haven't lost, lost any, any mitts, mitts either. either. Then who is the mystery skier that made all those strange tracks? Beats me, Shirley. Maybe we should go back up the hill to look for more clues. Wow, what a view! You can see everybody from up here. And someone down there is our mystery skier. Look! Buddy and Betty are starting their snowboard demonstration. Woohoo! Bonus! What's wrong with Buddy? Why does he keep blowing in his hand? His hand's probably cold, Sally, and he's trying to warm it up. Uh oh, I see trouble. Wow! Look, Look out! out! Yikes! Interesting. You look fine! You do! I think I know how the strange ski tracks were made. So, Huckle, has this one left you cold, or have you solved the strange ski tracks mystery? I think I have, Goldbug. This is what I think happened. Whoever made the strange tracks seemed to go over the tree, over the wide rock and through the log. However, it couldn't have been Jeremy Giraffe. He's too big to fit through the log. And it couldn't have been Abel Baker Charlie. He's too small to go over the tree. We also found this purple mitt, which we figured must belong to the mystery skier. When I saw Buddy trying to warm his hand, I remembered that he was wearing two purple mitts when we first saw him, just like the one we found. 
So Buddy must have made the tracks. But he couldn't have made them by himself. When Buddy and Betty were doing their snowboarding demonstration, I noticed their tracks went around the pigs. So the tracks we first thought were made by skis were actually tracks made by Buddy and Betty on their snowboards. Wow! So it wasn't one skier, it was two snowboarders. You bet, Goldbug. Awesome! You found my mitt! Thanks! Huckle was right again. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Hooray for Huckle! So there you have it! Huckle has shoveled the snow off another busy town mystery! Goldbug! What's wrong with this microphone? I can't hear anything! Whoa! Hey, everyone! Look at me! Whee! Good stuff, Loli! Looks like you're a natural-born snowboarder! Oh, I can keep my balance on a full-size snowboard. They're a lot wider than skis! And it's not just me. Pig Will and Pig Won't gave up skiing. Now they're snowboarding, too. Look, here they come. Are you two okay? Yes, but I think we're going to give up snowboarding, too. We're much better at snowballing down the hill. Now that's the first time I've heard you two agree on anything. <laughs> The Mysterious Color-Changing T-Shirt. Huckle! Have you seen my new yellow T-Shirt anywhere? Huckle! Hmm, where is he? <laughs> Hi, Sally. Loli, what are you doing in our cookie jar? Hmm. Playing hide and seek with Huckle and eating cookies. Hi, Sally. Hey, you found Loli. I sure did, Huckle, and I wasn't even looking for him. But I am looking for my new yellow t shirt with the smiley face on it. Vincent Van Goat is going to paint my portrait, and I want to wear it. Yellow is my favorite color. Oh, it's so neat how Mr. Van Goat uses food to make his art. Mmm. Yes! I wonder what food he'll use to paint Sally's yellow T-shirt. Hmm. Maybe banana or lemon peels. They're yellow. Well, we might never find out. I looked all over the house for my T-shirt, and I can't find it anywhere. Did you check to see if it's hanging on the clothesline? Right! I forgot to check the clothesline. I'll go check. No yellow t-shirt here. Wait, Huckle, I only have one shirt with a smiley face on it. My yellow t-shirt. Then that must be your yellow t-shirt. Only it's not yellow anymore. It's green. Huh? But why did it turn green? I don't know. But I do know we have a colorful Busy Town mystery to solve. Busy Town Action Bug This is Goldbug, reporting live for Busytown Action News. What's this about a colorful mystery, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, Sally's yellow t-shirt mysteriously turned green, and we're going to find out why. And how. Ready for it? Here goes! <laughs> folks, as Huckle and his team solve the color-changing T-shirt mystery. I'm Goldbug, and that 
What's the buzz in Busy Town? If we can figure out why and how my T-shirt turned green, maybe we can change it back in time for my portrait sitting. I just thought of something else that changes from green to yellow. A traffic light! <laughs> Good one, Loli. But it doesn't really help us solve our mystery. Wait, Sally. Maybe your T-shirt was supposed to change color, but you didn't know it. You could be right, Huckle. Let's go back to the shop where I got it and find out. I'm ready to go. Great, but first I'll take this blanket inside. Oops, it's not dry yet. Hey, look, my hand turned blue. Hmm, it must be from the blue dye in the blanket. And it's not coming off. You can wash it off later, Huckle. We've got a mystery to solve. Why, hello there, you three. Can I help you? I hope so. This T-shirt was yellow, but now it's green. Was it supposed to do that? Can I change it back? Hmm, no, it isn't supposed to turn green. And I don't know how to change it back. Sorry. But you can exchange it for a new one. Thanks! Uh, I don't see another yellow T-shirt here. Oh dear, I guess you're right. I sold the last one to Hilda Hippo this morning. Hilda? She's my best friend. Maybe I can borrow her yellow t-shirt for my portrait sitting. And while we're at it, maybe we'll find a clue to help us solve our color-changing t-shirt mystery. We'd better hurry before Hilda's yellow t-shirt turns green, too. Bye, and thanks. It's my turn. No, it's my turn. <laughs> Yeah! Hey, did you see my throw? Your throw? That was my throw! Hello! Hi, Hilda! Hi, guys! You're just in time to join us for some nice raspberry juice! I'll get three more cups! Three cups plus three more cups? That means there will be six juice drinkers! That means less juice for me! And me! <laughs> me first! Me! <laughs> Guys! My new shirt! Oh no! And I was just about to ask you if I could borrow it. We were worried that Hilda's shirt might change color too. But we didn't expect it to turn orange. Hmm. That's odd. The raspberry juice is red. But the stain on Hilda's yellow shirt is orange. Hey, yeah. How did that happen? I know how it happened. Pigwill did it. No, Pigwill did it. So red juice on a yellow T-shirt makes an orange stain. Maybe something like that happened to my shirt. Except it changed from yellow to green, not yellow to orange. All right. I could try washing out the orange stain for you, Sally. Thanks, Hilda, but it's already time for me to go to Vincent Van Gogh's for my portrait setting. Vincent Van Gogh? The artist who paints with food? That's him. <laughs> Do you want to come along? We love food. Uh, I mean art. Hi, Mr. Van Gogh. I'm here to sit for my portrait. Right on time. Come in, everyone. Is that a sculpture of who I think it is? <laughs> I think so. It's a self-portrait made entirely of tasty baked goods. It looks just like you. And it smells delicious! Uh, why aren't you wearing that yellow T-shirt you told me about, Sally? I have my yellow mustard all ready. This is my yellow T-shirt, Mr. Van Gogh. Only it turned green. <laughs> no problem. I must have some green food around here to paint with. Hmm. No spinach juice, no broccoli soup, and no squashed peas. Uh, looks like I'm all out of green food. Ah, but I have lots of yellow mustard and blueberry jam. But don't you need to paint with something green? Yes, Loli, but I can always mix two colors to make a new one. 
I'll show you. Red tomato sauce mixed together with blueberry jam makes purple. And yellow mustard mixed with red tomato sauce makes orange. Oh, yeah. Then that's how the red juice on Hilda's yellow T-shirt made orange. Yes, but I want to make green. So I'll start with yellow mustard. Add blueberry jam and mix. It's turning green. Hmm. Yellow and blue make green. That gives me an idea. Where's Huckle going with that rag? I don't know, but let's follow him and find out. Woo! What is it, Huckle? Did you solve the mystery? Yes. Have you and your team come to a colorful conclusion concerning this color-changing case, Huckle? We have, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. First, we found out that Sally's new yellow T-shirt had mysteriously turned green. It was drying on a clothesline after being washed with a blue blanket. Then, something else changed color. Hilda's yellow T-shirt turned orange when red juice got spilled on it. When we got to Mr. Van Goat's studio, he showed us how you can mix two colors to make a new one. We learned that yellow and blue make green. So I figured that something blue must have stained Sally's yellow T-shirt to turn it green. But what? That's when I remembered the blue blanket on our clothesline. The dye from it turned my hand blue. So I think the blue dye from the blanket is what made Sally's yellow T-shirt turn green. Let's see if I'm right. A green stain. So Huckle is right. Hooray for Huckle! Yay! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. There you have it, folks. Another masterpiece of mystery solving by Huckle and his team. This is Goldbug signing off. <laughs> Raspberry juice washed right out. My shirt's yellow again. Would you like to borrow it? You bet, Hilda. Thanks. Um, are you sure you want to pose in Hilda's T-shirt, Sally? Yep. Yellow is my favorite color. Thanks for the hand cream you gave me to remove the dye, Mr. Van Goat. It worked great. No more blue. Huh? Mmm, mm, delicious! Aha! Uh -huh. Caught you! Red handed! You made me! No, no I didn't. didn't! You did! Hey, hey stop that! <laughs> <laughs> the Metal Finger Mystery! Something special must be happening at City Hall today. I wonder what it is. Look, there's the mayor of Busytown. Uh, everything's ready for the ceremony, Mr. Mayor. How does it look? A-OK, -okay, Willie. A-OK. -okay. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. How are you today? A-OK, -okay, kids. It's a good sunny day for my presentation. I'm unveiling a new statue. Of me! <laughs> it must be very small. I can't even see it from here. <laughs> no, no, it hasn't arrived yet. But when it does, it'll be as big as all the other statues here. That's cool. so exciting! Will you be able to come for the unveiling of the statue at noon? We'd love yeah. yeah. to! Yeah! Hey, okay, kids! Hey, hey okay, Mr. Mr. Mayor! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Barry. What happened here? I don't know, Huckle. One minute my nice sign was hanging over my shop, and the next thing I know, it's lying on the road. Hey, look, guys. 
I'm a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Can you help me pick it up, please? Sure. Come on. How did the sign fall down? Maybe it was blown down. But there's been no wind at all today. See? There's not even enough breeze to flutter a flag. Something must have knocked it down. But what? Hey, wait a minute, guys. What's this? It looks like a metal finger. A metal finger? That's so strange. Where did that come from? I don't know. Have you ever seen this metal finger before, Barry? No. Well then, I say, it's a mystery! Dovebug here for Busy Town Action News, reporting live from Barry's Bookshop, where Huckle has made a most unusual find. Is the metal finger pointing to a clue? I don't know, Goldbug, but I do know that we're going to find out where it came from and solve the metal finger mystery. Yay! Yay! All right. Ready for it? Here <laughs> goes. Huckle and his team are going to figure out, or should I say, finger out, how to solve the metal finger mystery. And that's the buzz in Busytown. Goldbug out! Whoa! Hmm, I wonder if this metal finger has something to do with knocking the sign down. How could one little finger do that? You're right, Hilda. I couldn't knock that heavy sign down if I used both hands. We're going to need more clues, that's for sure. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone! Hi, Big Will! Hi, Big Will! What'd you find, Huckle? A metal finger! Have you ever seen this before? No, but I bet I know who it belongs to! A, a giant, giant metal robot! A giant metal robot who will stomp on us when it walks by! <gasps> Is it a robot's finger, Huckle? I don't think so, Sally. Look, this finger doesn't bend. Robot's fingers bend like this. So they can pick uh. stuff up. <laughs> hey, quit it. <laughs> I'm ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. What's happened? Sounds like someone's in trouble. Let's go see what's the matter. Come on. Bye, Barry. Bye, kids! They're ruined! Completely ruined! What happened, Gracie Goat? One minute all my lovely flowers were hanging up there, and now they're on the ground! Ruined! We'll help you clean them up. Thank you, dears. Hmm. Both the shop sign and the baskets fell to the ground from high up. You're right, Huckle. And they were both hanging by the side of the road. Maybe something tall drove along the road and knocked them down. Something tall? What could it be? I know someone who has a very tall car. Jeremy Giraffe. You're right. Look, there's Jeremy now. Wait a minute. That doesn't look like a tall car. Hi, guys. Do you like my new car? It's nice and low, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. It's low, 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 Loli. I got it last week. That old car of mine was such a headache. And I do mean headache. I used to hit my head on all sorts of things, but not anymore. Bye, Jeremy! Hmm. So it wasn't Jeremy who knocked down the sign and flower baskets. Wow, look what I found. A metal thumb. And it matches the metal finger. That means they both belong to the same metal hand. Have you seen that giant metal robot yet? Nope, but we did find a big metal thumb. You did? Yeah, right here. 
At least now that giant robot can't squish us between his thumb and finger. But what about its other hand? Ah, we're gonna get squished! <laughs> yeah! Hey! Whoa! Yeah! 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 Hey, we heard the crash. What happened? It wasn't our fault. That big truck nearly hit us. Uh, I don't see truck? a truck. I don't see a truck either. But I do see something it left behind. Was the truck delivering flags? No, that's what the truck hit, way up there. So that truck might have also hit Barry's book sign and Gracie Goat's hanging flower baskets. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's another clue, Huckle. A hand! And look what's missing. A finger and thumb. To shape the finger and thumb make, like a big O. I'm sure I've seen that somewhere before. Guys, it's almost noon. If we want to see the mayor unveil his statue, we should head back to City Hall. The mayor! That's it! Let's go to City Hall. I think the answer to the mystery is there. It is? We'll need to take this with us. Come on, let's hurry. <laughs> Goldbug here with breaking news. Tell me, Huckle, did the latest clue give you a helping hand to unravel the metal finger mystery? You bet, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. First, the mayor was waiting for his new statue to be delivered. Then we found a metal finger by the knocked-down sign. And a metal thumb by Gracie Goat's knocked-down flower baskets. Then we found a metal hand where a truck drove onto the sidewalk. And when we put them all together, they fit perfectly, making a hand gesture that looks like A-OK. -okay. And we all know who makes a hand gesture like that every time he says A-OK, -okay, Mr. Mayor. So I think the metal finger, thumb, and hand belongs on the mayor's new statue. Let's get it! it. Ta-da! Folks, thumbs up and a big A-OK -okay for Huckle and his team. They've done it again and solved the metal finger mystery. Whoa! But Huckle, what about the mayor's presentation? It's going to start soon. And we don't want him to unveil a broken statue. You're right. We've got to fix this thing fast. Sally, you go find us some glue, OK? I'm on it, big brother. Loli, Hilda, let's get this hand back up where it belongs. Let's sure go thing, it. Hacker. I've always said that the people of Busy Town should be able to come and see their mayor whenever they want. <laughs> and now you'll be able to see me without even going inside City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, I proudly present the newest addition to the courtyard of mayors, a statue of me. What are they doing up there? I can't look up there. What are you doing up there? We just wanted to give you a big hand, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> In more ways than one. Hey, okay, kids. <laughs> <gasps> Did you see that? The hand moved. It's a giant robot. Ah! Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the now you see it, now you don't mystery. Got it in on the first shot, Huckle. That would have been called a hole in one. Okay, your turn, Loli. Hey, where's your golf club? <laughs> Not to worry, Huckle. 
I've got it right here. I will now get a hole in one. No, you won't, Pigwill. I will get a hole in one. No, I will. <laughs> Yes, but it's Sally's hole-in-one, not yours. Is two. Is not. Is two. Hey, it didn't come out. Hmm. Sally's ball was supposed to roll down this pipe and come out here. Hmm. Maybe it's stuck inside. Loli, shoot your ball into the hole so we'll knock Sally's out. You got it, Huckle. <laughs> My golf ball didn't come out either. They couldn't just vanish, could they? Vanishing golf balls? That sounds like a mystery! Here's the Action, Action Bug News. News! Where's he going? What's the scoop in the coop, Farmer Patrick Pig? Well, Goldbug, my hen, Henevieve, has laid not one, not two, but ten eggs in one day. Wow! wow. Ten eggs in one day certainly is big news in busy town, and that's no yoke. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Good one, Goldbug. But we have a mini putt mystery on our hands. Leaping lightning bugs! Two big stories in one day? Busy town is really buzzing! <laughs> So what's the score, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, two of our golf balls disappeared down this hole. So I'm going to solve this now you see it, now you don't mystery by finding out what happened to them. And we've got even bigger news. <laughs> That's right. I will soon be getting a hole in one. No, I will. Won't. Will. Won't. Busy town is will. buzz, buzz, will. buzzing. Won't. Are you ready for it? Here goes! Will Pig will and Pig won't get a hole in one? And will Huckle solve the now you see it, now you don't mystery? Stay tuned. Goldbug out. <gasps> it looks dark in there. No problem for me. You're forgetting. I'm part glow worm. <laughs> I couldn't see our golf balls. Well, for a pipe problem, we need a pipe expert. So that means... McIntyre Scotty! McIntyre is a pipe expert, aren't you, Mac? <laughs> <laughs> Those are bag pipes, Loli. We need a plumbing pipe expert, like the pipes under the sink. Which means we need a plumber. Oh, a plumber, like Leaky Leopold. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go get Leaky Leopold. So, are you gonna just stand there all day? Huh? Excuse us, Leaky Leopold, but uh, that's your coat rack you're talking to. <laughs> oh dear, so it is. Well, what do you know? That must be because I misplaced my eyeglasses yesterday and now I can't see very well. We're trying to solve a mystery that has to do with a pipe at Farmer Patrick Pig's new mini putt course. What a coincidence. I was just out at Farmer Patrick Pig's farm yesterday. I put in a new water pipe to Hennevy's chicken coop. Let me get my hat. Now come and take a look. 
Okay. Let me get the door for you. Let's go. I think Leaky Leopold walked into the closet by mistake. Sure got dark fast. Over this way, Leaky Leopold. I think this is the door you're looking for. Here's the hole our golf balls disappeared into, Leaky Leopold. Hmm. My guess is the pipe is clogged. And the best tool to use to unclog a pipe is a plunger. Good thing I brought my toolkit. Huh? This plunger will suck out whatever's clogging it. If there was anything clogging the pipe, it would surely be gone now. The pipe should be clear. Let's test it. Good idea, Sally. Now that's a hole in one. Is not. Is two. Is not. Huh? You, you lost, lost my purple, purple ball! Hey! Water's not supposed to be coming up out of golf ball holes, is it? No, it is mud. Now we have another mystery to solve. Ah! One of the water pipes under the mini putt course might be involved. There should be a door to the underground pipe room around here somewhere. Over here! The green pipes are the golf ball pipes, and the blue pipes are the water pipes that go to the hen house. Hmm. It looks like some of the green pipes and blue pipes have been joined together. Are you sure? Now I wonder why that happened. Huh? Are these the glasses that you lost, Leaky Leopold? <laughs> yes! I must have left them when I was here yesterday. Huckle! You don't look all fuzzy anymore. <laughs> I'll bet the pipes don't look fuzzy anymore either. <laughs> what were you doing here yesterday? I was putting in a new water pipe to Hennevieve's chicken coop. Then maybe you mixed up the pipes because you couldn't see without your glasses. That makes sense, because now instead of water going to the chicken coop, it's going through the pipes to the golf ball holes. My gosh, I think you're right. Well, that solves the water mystery, but we still don't know where the golf balls disappeared to. <laughs> and why Henevieve is laying so many eggs. Maybe Henevieve's laying scrambled eggs now. <laughs> <laughs> Golf Bug here with some breaking news on the Miracle Chicken and the Egg story. Over to you, Farmer Patrick Pig. Well, Golf Bug, now Hanavive is laying colored eggs. Colored eggs? That's not possible. Maybe they're Easter eggs. I don't think so, Lily. There must be some other explanation. So, Farmer Patrick Pig, what's the secret to her amazing talent? I don't know, Golf Bug, but I did have Leaky Leopold put in this automatic water bowl yesterday. Maybe all the fresh water Hennevy's been drinking has something to do with it. Wait a second. There's not a drop of water in this bowl. But there is another colored egg. Hmm. That's strange. I wonder if the water is going to the golf ball holes, then maybe the golf balls are going to... Ah! I think I know what happened to the missing golf balls. So what about it, Huckle? Did you solve the now-you-see-it, now-you-don't mystery? I think so, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. The golf balls disappeared around the same time that Anna Vive started laying a whole lot of eggs. Then we discovered that the water that was supposed to be going to the chicken coop was really going to the golf ball pipes. That was because Leaky Leopold accidentally mixed up the pipes because he had lost his glasses and couldn't see properly. So since the water for the chicken coop is coming out the golf ball holes, it makes sense that the golf balls are coming out the water pipes. So I don't think Genevieve has really been laying colored eggs at all. I think she's really sitting on golf balls. They're not eggs. They only look like eggs from here. I bet if we take a closer look... Hucko was right! Hooray for Huckle! Everybody all together solved a mystery.
Huckle has cracked another case. That's the buzz in Busy Town. Goldbug, out. I will get the hole in one. No, you won't. I will. <laughs> the mystery of the missing pirate gold. idea of yours to spend the day at Busy Town Beach, Huckle. Yes, Allie. But it looks like I wasn't the only one with the idea. The beach is so busy. It might be hard to find Loli in this crowd. Bye, kid. Bye. Here I am, Huckle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that peeping sound? Mr. Fix-It looking for things buried in the sand with his metal detector. I'll bet the beeping means he's found something. Yahoo! I'm gonna be rich! That makes 20 gold pirate coins I found. But don't tell anyone! It's a secret! <laughs> Shouting, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. Guess my secret isn't a secret anymore. Everyone's digging trying to find gold pirate coins. Looks like now it's a race to see who can find the most coins the fastest. Sounds like your metal detector found another coin, Mr. Fixit. You bet, Bowley. Yahoo! That makes 21! Uh-oh, my battery needs recharging. Wait a minute. Hold on to this for me, Huckle. My bag's empty. But that's impossible. We saw you put a coin in there. I put 20 coins into it, Sally. But where are they now? Looks to me like it's a... Mystery! Busy town action bug news! So, what's making the big splash at Busy Town Beach, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, 20 gold coins Mr. Fixit found have disappeared from his bag. We're going to solve the mystery of the missing pirate gold by finding out what happened to them. Ready for it? Here goes! for important news updates. Goldbug, out! I sure hope you can find my coins, Huckle. But now I need to go get my metal detector charged up. Hold on to that last coin till I get back, Huckle. Maybe we'll help you solve this mystery. Don't worry, I will solve this mystery. No, you won't. I will solve this mystery. Wait a second. If we're both up here... Who's driving the boat? Uh-oh! Yeah! Oh, it was your turn to drive the boat. No, it was your turn. Yours! 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 <laughs> hey, I know. Maybe someone took Mr. Fix-It's coins when he wasn't looking. Then Mr. Fix-It would have heard them. Not with those big earphones on. You're right, Huckle. Still, how could anyone get close enough to take his coins without him seeing them? Maybe whoever took them was hiding. But where, Loli? 
There are no buildings, no trees, no big rocks. Maybe they were hiding in the sand. Hey! Over here! And they jumped out and took the coins, just like this. Hey, I'm stuck! I'm stuck too! Well, I guess someone could have been hiding in the sand, even though it wouldn't have been easy. But it would have been impossible for them to jump out of the sand to take the coins. Dig me out, Pig Won't. No, you dig me out first. You dig me out first. You. 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 We'll you. go get help. You. you. Okay, we know the coins couldn't just disappear, which means someone must have taken them. But who? And how? We don't have a single clue, Sally. Oh, yes, we do. Footprints. Sally's right. If someone did take the coins like we think, they must have left footprints in the sand. And that could give us a clue who it was. Good work, team. Let's go. Whoa! Hi, cute crabbies. Um, you're not hungry, right, crab critters? Let's get out of here! Whoa! Okay, this is around where Mr. Fixit lost his coin. All right. First, let's figure out which footprints are ours. Those are all my footprints. Those are mine. The single ones are mine. And the only other footprints here look like they belong to Mr. Fixit. That means whoever took the coins didn't leave any footprints? That's impossible. Everyone leaves footprints in sand. Oh, yeah? Well, they wouldn't leave footprints if they were walking on their hands. Like this. Oops. <laughs> hey, maybe the reason we can't find footprints is because whoever took Mr. Fix-It's coins came from above. But how is that possible, Lily? Unless it was a bird. Or someone sitting up high. Hmm. Well, it would have been easy for Hanley to reach down into Mr. Fix-It's bag. But he's the beach lifeguard, Loli. He's here to protect swimmers. He'd never do a thing like that. You're right, Sally. Hey, Hilda, did you find any pirate coins in the sand? Not one, Sally. I dug so many holes in the sand, I thought the beach was going to spring a leak. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel too badly. No one else found any either. That's strange. Mr. Fixit said he found 21 coins, but nobody else even found one? Don't forget, he's got a metal detector. Well, so do they, but all they found were some old bottle caps. Well, then this must be Mr. Fixit's lucky day. Hmm, maybe. But maybe there's another reason why only Mr. Fixit found so many coins. Let's go over what we know. Good idea, Huckle. But how about we go over what we know at the refreshment stand? I'm thirsty. An even better idea, Loli. All right. No one was hiding in the sand like Pig will and Pig won't. No one left any footprints. Hmm. And no one took the coins from above. Hmm. Okay. Then is it possible that no one took the coins at all? But if no one took them... What happened to them? I don't know. <laughs> Do you have an idea, Loli? Ah, nope. I have brain freeze. I slurp my cold milkshake too fast. <laughs> Peach! Banana! Peach! Banana! That's what we're getting because I'm holding the money! No, you're not! <laughs> hey! <gasps> There's a hole in my pocket! Now that I'm holding the money, we're getting a peach milkshake. Mine! <laughs> it seems there are more holes in Pigwill and Pigwill's pockets than in a piece of Swiss cheese. <laughs> <laughs> banana! Peach! Banana! Peach! Banana! Peach! Banana! Peach! Aha! Uh -huh, that's it! I think I now know what happened to Mr. Fix-It's coins. <laughs> Bugs surfing in with the latest scoop. You're just in time, Mr. Fixit. Huckle thinks he knows what happened to your gold coins. Okay, so what's the beach breaking news, Huckle? Have you solved the mystery of the missing pirate gold? I think so, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. 
First, we thought that someone took the coins from Mr. Fixit's bag, but we couldn't figure out how they could do it. Then Hilda told us that no one else found any coins, only Mr. Fixit. I wondered why that was. Then I remembered that each time Mr. Fixit put a coin in his bag, he found another coin right away. When I saw how Pig Will and Pig Won't's coin kept falling out of the holes in their pockets, I got to thinking that maybe the same thing happened to Mr. Fixit. Not that he had a hole in his pocket, but that maybe there was a hole in his bag. So I don't think that anyone took Mr. Fixit's coins. In fact, I think there was only one coin, and that every time Mr. Fixit put it into his bag, it fell out of the hole. Then Mr. Fixit would find the same coin in the sand and think it was another one. There's a hole in my bag. There is a hole in my bag. Huckle was right. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. Hooray for Huckle! <laughs> I guess this isn't your lucky day after all, Mr. Fixit. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Loli. <laughs> finding one gold pirate coin is a lot better than finding none. <laughs> You lost our money! I didn't lose it, you did! Look what I 